Fears are growing in Tunisia, about the violent rhetoric adopted by supporters of President Qais Saeed, amounting to betraying his opponents, and demanding, that they be killed or expelled from the country, which may push the country to slip into the violent scenario, that prevailed during the Troika rule. During their support manifestations, the president's supporters raised banners, including, what they called the treasons list, including the Enida movement, former president Monsef Marzouki, and the secretary general of the Workers' Party, Hama Hamami, as well as constitutional expert Jehar Ben Mbarek, and a number of opposition MPs. Social media pages also circulated a video, showing a number of Said supporters in the city of Monastir, organizing a funeral for the Enida movement. They carried a coffin with a slogan of the Enida movement, chanting expressions, that betray the movement, and calling for attacks on its members. Mohamed Goumani, a representative of the Enida movement, wrote, The threats, and violence of populist militias are an imminent threat to Tunisia. Stop messing around before it collapses, he added, every free person, every Democrat, and every fighter, regardless of his position on what happened, should take a stance now, about what is happening before it is too late. The most important thing in the past is the present, and the future, the future of the civil state, and the community of coexistence are in serious and unprecedented danger, which is growing every day in silence or maneuvering. Observers believe, that Tunisia is currently experiencing a critical political, and social period, similar to the atmosphere, that prevailed during the rule of the Troika, especially in 2013. In 2013, Tunisia witnessed the return of political assassinations in the country, and it would have almost caused a civil war, but thanks to the intervention of wise people, especially the Tunisian National Dialogue Quartet headed by the Tunisian General Labour Union, where a national dialogue was held, that led to the formation of a national unity government headed by Mehdi Joma. Stay tuned for the latest news.